Hi, I'm Ian Stables, Senior Project Manager here at Burton Boat Company, and this is Brynhild, a 1958 Bermudan sloop designed by Fred Parker. Brynhild's interior restoration was almost as large as the exterior, with the joinery being stripped out from stem to stern to allow access to the hull frames, the shear clamp, beam shelf, engine mounts, strap floors and knees. With the structure exposed, the components went through a similar evaluation as the exterior inspection and survey. With decayed timber being removed, new structural components cut from the same original species and refitted. The ballast keel was also removed to check the keel bolts and allow removal of the centerline strap floors. These were suffering from some corrosion and diminution, especially under the engine where access is extremely tight. And due to the heavy loads in this area of the vessel, it was decided to renew the strap floors through the midship section of the boat. These were fabricated from Lloyd's Grade A marine steel, hot dip galvanised before being refitted to the vessel. With the new floors fitted and the timber repairs complete, the pitch was reapplied to the bilges. Heated and poured as a liquid in the traditional manner, the pitch acts as a self-levelling compound to prevent water being trapped behind hull frames, floors and stringers, to ensure that the bilge water runs freely to the lowest portion of the keel, where the bilge pump takes it overboard. Once the structural repairs were complete and the interior paintwork well underway, work could begin on installing the new electrical installation. This system was designed to maximise the time that the vessel is able to spend without running the engine to charge the batteries and comprises a large domestic bank of lithium cells to provide the power, linked to a digitally controlled battery management and power distribution system. Low power consumption has been the key throughout and all lighting systems have been replaced with LEDs which allow a central red-white changeover for cabin lighting, colour changing mood lighting and spreader lights, all of which can be controlled from a smartphone. An inverter is powered from the lithium batteries to provide power for a proper coffee machine and a 25 kilowatt bow thruster has been installed under the forward bunks to make manoeuvring easier. With the interior coming back together and the electrical installation underway, it's nice to see Brynhild starting to look herself again. <laughs> 